December 22nd. Yes, it is. It's time to play Exit. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, look at my hair. <laughs> it's kind of dark because we're actually, it's not bright out, but it's bright, during, the, during the day again. So yep. it's kind of dark. And I'm too lazy to go get my light from upstairs. I have one of those ring lights on the, they don't care what I look like. All right, December 22nd, you know what that means? Three days till Christmas. Yes, I get the math, yes. And I'm looking around our house and I'm looking at all the Christmas cards and, and I'm saying, well, thank God somebody sent us Christmas cards. Yeah, of course, half of them are from businesses and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. How, That's okay. But let, let's take a poll right now. Just curious. Sure. And nobody's going to answer probably, but those who want to answer, I know a lot of you don't answer, but um, like, yes. So half, God bless you, man, my cat sneezing. Half my Christmas cards, or maybe a quarter of my Christmas cards, our Christmas cards, excuse me, I have a habit of saying mine, it's all mine, are from businesses local. You know, here's your, you know, landscape or whatever, whatever sending us Christmas yes. cards. Here's from Museum of Science and Industry. Thanks for taking <laughs> your cat to our veterinary clinic. Yeah, whatever it may be, right? <laughs> then I would say the other quarter are from friends, like people who are not related to us, mm -hmm. like friends, um, actually like the lady who watches our cat, who I love her to death, and she said yes. baby. And she's not watching this, but yeah. I'm so happy for her. And then there's about four cards, five cards from family members. <laughs> yeah. Now remember, Phil has a big Polish family and I have a big Italian family. And that's it. Yep. And I, I also, I, I, I don't have, so the, so the poll, the question is, do you still send Christmas cards? And it's kind of funny because what I've been doing is I was sending them regardless of people sending to me. And then I, I, I stopped. I started realizing, why am I sending this person a card every year where they just don't send me a card? And it seems like that's not the thing to do anymore. People don't want to send Christmas cards as much. Yeah. But to me, it's part of the decorations of the home. Yeah, because instead of you know staring at your phone to see if somebody posted a thing on Facebook social media or, social or something, media. It's like right there. It's you right walk there. downstairs, and you know it's 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 right here. It's, it's part of the decorations. Or you, or of you can the, put of... it over your hearth or whatever. Yeah. And, you know you can't put a uh, Facebook above your hearth. <laughs> no, you can't. So I don't know. I don't, is it just me? Am I being old? An old person saying this? I just feel bad. I mean, I'm not expecting, and I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad who's not sending the cards anymore. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people who don't want to send cards anymore. Yes. But I will just say that I enjoyed getting my cards. I enjoyed decorating for the holidays with them. And I enjoyed giving them, and I'm just giving less each year because I'm just not going to continue to do if nobody cares. All right, that was my Jane on a soapbox moment, <laughs> but it still looks pretty, even though some of them are from yeah. local businesses. <laughs> I still hang them I mean, up. Counterpoint is, is that is welcome too. If you you know do it some other way, then you know, let us know. Yeah, I mean maybe I should maybe I should go back on Facebook just so I can get a Merry Christmas. I don't know. Who cares? All right, James, that being, not trying to be political or anything. Okay. Ah, just me. Second, second, da, 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 22nd of December, mm -hmm. exit. It's a long one, guys, sorry. I'll try to read it as fast as I can. You push through the door and it closes behind you with a crash. Oh boy. That is almost more than your highly strung nerves can bear. That big eye was just looking at us. <laughs> I'm already like. <laughs> your heart is beating like crazy. What a nightmare before Christmas. Hey, is that copyright? Here. Mm. Once through the door, the floor slopes steeply. You, you tumble into the depths as if on a kind of slide. Oh, it's no. so dark that you completely lose your bearings. At the foot of the slide, you manage to get on your feet. You hit something hard with your boot and laugh with relief when you realize that it is a flashlight. Is it Christmas yet? You let the beam of light glide over the walls. You seem to be in some kind of tunnel. You start to march forward and try to organize the clutter in your head. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the crackling of a speaker pulls you from your thoughts. Wow, speakers are even installed in the tunnel. That is, of course, really helpful. I have finally understood I am Burns, instruction manual. You hear the excited voice of the boss. You'll never believe what happened when I pushed the emergency button. I have shrunk us. Who said that yesterday? Yeah. That would have been you. That's when I said, I think we're shrunk in a snow globe. <laughs> yes. The entire Christmas workshop 
We're just a miniature version of ourselves and we're stuck under a glass dome. <laughs> Do you understand? Like a snow globe. Did you I, read this? I did not. I have, have not read. But when I, the, the big eyeball, I started thinking like, wait, big eyeball. A child's toy. Isn't this crazy? I have to hand it to I am Burns. I am must stand for something. I am. I don't I, know. It's kind of funny. Yeah. A truly brilliant trick to ensure the workshop is not discovered. So the giant isn't a giant at all. It's a completely normal person. You complete the sentence of the boss whose voice broke off with a large crackle. And he only seems, seems as in bold. So gigantic to us because we're tiny and tiny's in bold. Hmm. Completely tiny. normal person, shrinking people. The realization had, was that, was that, was that movie? Anyway, honey, honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah. This realization has come to you on the roof terrace when the stranger's breath had misted over the dome of the snow globe. Yeah. More important than ever to find the command center, reports the boss back on the speaker. Using the button on the control panel will bring us back to normal size. No problem. I will lure the stranger away for the time being. I now know how. I just need to turn on the northern lights. They'll keep him busy. He's just walking away, so the path should be free soon. Hurry and don't mess it up. Please turn the page. You stare down the long, dark tunnel ahead. Have you understood the situation correctly? Whether you stay as toy figures in a snow globe for the rest of your lives or go back to normal life is in your hands. The boss seems to have, the boss seems really confident in your abilities. Now, how the heck do you get out of this tunnel? Open door 22 and behind you will find two riddle cards, V1 and V2. You kind of wrote this. I just hope right? we're in a big enough space when we become large again. <laughs> Unless we're like, ah. Yeah. Okay, 21 and 22. I mean, I, I mean, V1 and V2. Okay, V1 real, real card says, you won't find anything here alone. Oh, great. This is in bold. Mm -hmm. Follow three spiders. Oh, you love spiders. Arachnophobic big time. <laughs> to their home, don't even. <laughs> Look inside to find your clue. It's narrow though, that's also in bold. What should you do? Make the entrances wider, is also in bold, mm. if you dare to find the answer hidden there. Show that one. Yeah. Not, not you read it, show that one. Yeah, just, I, I wanted to read <laughs> you can that. read it later. I wanted I'm to, to read that last show line people. Again. There you go. Then it says, V2, now you're inside that can't be right. These tunnels are as dark as night. See those in bold. Three candles on your table. I see them right mm -hmm. on the table here. Yeah. Shine a light there if you're able. Shine a light is also bold. Mm. The tunnel's lit. Now find the clue. The answer is ahead of you. It sounds like somehow we're going to have to take a light mm. into this thing. The other card. Oh, sorry. Yes. You, you got me on that one. And it looks like all it is is a dark tunnel. Oh, and there's a, there's a message at the bottom. A little... Nice flashlight. Um, it says <laughs> code, middle, left, right, and then there's a flashlight on the floor. Hmm. All right, guys. But something about making the Tunnel. making the entrance wider. Well, there's three candles, and they're right. They're actually right here on the box. The yeah. three candles right on the top there. So we'll play a little bit here, and we'll figure it out hopefully. Yep. And then uh, we'll be right back with the answer. Mm -hmm. We hope. And a clicker. We're getting a new clicker next year. Did I mention this? No, that one was one of the hardest ones. Yeah. And it's because, I don't know, we're just stupid. <laughs> well, no, we're not stupid. Here's not the deal. Easy to see. If either. you go through the clues again on the two cards, right? The first thing literally says to you, follow three spiders to their home. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking a spider web. We're looking, you know, that's their home. We're looking for spiders. We see spiders nowhere on this entire box. Yeah. We just don't see those. We don't, we don't see any spiders anywhere. We even looked at the front of the, the books like we did yeah. last time. 
No spiders anywhere. Even the door we were in, I was lifting up, like, are they hiding underneath the edge of it? Or spider web, maybe. Yeah, nothing. Drove us insane, right? Yeah. So then we're like, okay, well, let's look at the next clue. It's like, okay, it's narrow, though. What should you do? Okay, well, that doesn't help us. Make the entrances wider. So we're thinking, okay, we got to rip something apart. We just don't know what to rip apart at this point because we don't know where the damn spiders are. Yeah. And then the three candles we've got, you know, the fact is there's three candles here. One, two, three. So we yeah. get those three candles and you're supposed to shine a light on them. But again, why? <laughs> right, so, right. We're, so finally we, we did, we, we, we cracked. We said, we don't know what the hell is it. We can't find spiders anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we did once, just once, and I'm glad we only, you know, we told ourselves we're just gonna pick one. We did one of the help items. You can even see it's only bent once, guys, in case you keep people cheating. <laughs> we're not. Well, we are cheating a little bit because we're reading the first clue. And it confirmed for us, mm -hmm. look for the spiders on the outside of the advent calendar box. And we, again, we were looking around the whole damn box. We still can't find the, excuse me, freaking spiders. Anyway, you know where they are? And it's very hard to see. Phil will take a picture afterwards. Yeah. On the tabs going into the box to close the box. Mm -hmm. Very hard to see. There are three spiders on those tabs. Yeah. They're, they're very hard to see. They're but very hard to see. Honestly, though, I was not looking at the tabs. No. I looked at everything except right. the stupid tabs. Who would thought the tab, right? <laughs> but then the thing is, the tabs go into the box, which would be a very narrow space. Narrow, yep, narrow slot. You know, it's a little slot where you usually put a tab. You can't see like it now. Like where a spider might We've now go. destroyed it. <laughs> so we had to literally destroy them. Mm -hmm. we, we actually had to open up each tab. Yeah. And then in each one, it, and it says here, I'll read this so everybody understands. It's narrow though, what should you do? Make the entrances wider, so make them a little bit wider by ripping up the rest. Yeah. But then it tells you to shine a light into this candle area. Yeah. So Phil showed, showed, shown, sh shined the light there. I put my eye right here. And as you look down that little tunnel, there's a number. Yeah, there's a channel between oh, all the rooms. Oh my. God. And there's a number at the end of this. That one was a good one. All right. When they made that one, I, I have to give them total full credit. That one was crazy. We yep. only looked at one clue to confirm. So we were on the right path. Yep. But then we thought we can't be on the right path. But we were on the right path. And then yep. we finally figured it out. But the number was 246. Two, mm -hmm. We tried that and it didn't work. And then I said, oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there a note on the floor? A note on the floor. Yep. And a note on the floor said, what is it? It no, said like it? middle left right. Or, yeah, so do the middle yeah. first. So four yeah. two six. Yep. Oh, that was a tough one, guys. It was. It was. And only because those spiders are so hard. I mean, you guys cannot see those. I'm sure. Can you? See, can you maybe see the spider? <laughs> yeah, I don't know can if it's possible to see the. Yeah, you'll you take a picture, but yeah, you can't really so see. They're so tiny it. and they're brown and they kind of blend it's into black the black on dark brown. <laughs> All right. So where are we going tomorrow? All right. Um, all right so we're on twenty two. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh yeah, we got it. We actually won. <laughs> okay, All right, ready? Here's yep. Up and to the right. Up and right. Down to the right. Down and to the right. Up. I got triangle hexagon moon. That is correct, All and right. that will be twenty-three. Twenty-three. There you go. Wow, that one was that one was tricky. And again, I think it was tricky. We just couldn't find the damn spiders. We had the right <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to blame my aging eyesight. But on that's that. the cool part about exit, right? Even though it can get frustrating, that's the point, yeah. right? You're supposed to be like, why can't I figure this out? Yeah, and I and I think, They're too I think easy if then. the game is done well, yeah. you should just be forced to look at a clue once in a while. Yeah, I mean, just, it's got to be hard I think enough we've that done you're that not always going to get it. Four times maybe now yeah. we looked at a clue. Maybe I have to double check yeah. and look in the book. But I mean, that's what a game is supposed to be about. Yeah. Makes you have fun. And I think some people, you know, will have an affinity to get certain, like some people might have picked up on this one right away, but then a different one, like, oh, I can't get this puzzle. And then we got that. So I think, I think it's a good I mix. think it's also the, if you're OCD, well, not OCD, ADHD, wherever I am, I'm all those things. You know, ripping up stuff makes me nuts sometimes. Like, I don't know, what if we rip it and it's wrong? Yeah. What if we rip it and it's wrong? <laughs> Until you get into it. Then it's like, okay, now we have to destroy this part. And, and like Let's said, do it. <laughs> we are not sponsored by anybody, but we love the exit games. If you mm -hmm. ever buy the little tiny ones, I mean, you destroy them to play them, right? Yeah, I remember one of them, we had to cut half of the, like the entire cover got cut up. Yeah. So, and, and then you use it. It's fun, yeah. but then you know, you could never really play that game again. Just be aware that if you buy any exit games. Well, yeah. Kind of like Pandemic Legacy. Right. You, you play yeah. it once and you're done. You and you put like, stickers all over the board and yeah. yeah, you're done. All right, guys, that's enough of that. 
Um, on to, oh, you know what we didn't show today? Our shirts. We didn't. When we went to the Indiana, <laughs> the Hammond thing, we showed you guys a video of, in case you didn't watch yeah, it yet, the, of the, the, the tourists, a, a, a Christmas story exhibit. So I got a shirt that says, Pink Nightmare. <laughs> and Phil got, shoot your eye out. Just shoot your eye out. <laughs> oh, you shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> So we thought we'd wear those today since it's a yep. dreary day and we're not going anywhere fa fa fancy or fun today. All right, guys, here comes the puzzle. Or not. Advent day 22. Um, it's very early in the morning. <laughs> I'm doing this. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, got a lot going on today, so I wanted to get this done early. So we were able to put it up on and post it. All right. Uh, so 22. So today... So we'll get, oh, Pete, we love Pete's. Pete's one of our favorite coffees. Dark Roast Holiday Blend. Hmm, another one I wish I could steal. I think next year we get two of these calendars because <laughs> I really want to have the coffee too. Um, not that we don't have plenty of coffee here, but I like trying the new ones too. Um, let's see, we have Bon Mon. Here's number 22, right here. Trim the tree. Well, we've done that. <laughs> it's only a couple more days before, well, actually, I think some people have a tradition of putting up their tree, like, right before Christmas. I, I'm just, I don't, I mean, we've never done that. I like to put it up right after Thanksgiving so I can enjoy it for a while. But, you know, everybody's got their own traditions. So today we have Bon Maman orange, gosh, this is small, orange mandarin passion fruit spread. It's probably another one Phil will really like. I mean, I'll probably like it too, but he loves marmalade, so it's probably similar to that when it comes to having orange in it. And... Last but not least, oh my goodness, only a couple more to go. 22. What will today's ornament be? <laughs> Every time I see it, it's a cute little box, it really is. Oh, see, today we get the plastic. Yesterday we didn't get the plastic. <laughs> oh, okay. It is a pickle. Um, there is a tradition in some families that they hide a pickle in the tree. I'm sure you've all heard of that. If you haven't, look it up. Um, so that people can't, you know, well, not that they can't find it, but they're supposed to have a harder time finding it. I'm not sure what the rule is. Like, when you find it, do you get a prize? I don't know. So maybe we'll hide the pickle in the tree. Let's see if we, let's see if we can actually do that. See how early it is? It's still dark out. <laughs> I'm going to put the pickle over here. Yeah, so you kind of blends... That's why I'm doing a very early batch of laundry if you're hearing that noise in the background. But here's the pickle. Oops. I dropped one of my other ornaments. Ah. Sorry for the... I got you guys dizzy. Put that back where it was. Alright, so we have a pickle on our tree now, guys. There you go. 
Well, even though it's early, Miss Cutie is here waiting for her very, very disturbing present. <laughs> so funny, as soon as I do the kitchen one, she's like, oh, it must be time for this crappy toy I get every day. All right, sweetheart, let's see. We only got three boxes left. So today is 22, why can't I find it? 22, 22, oh, 22. Right here. Okay, ready? Let's show the people. Let's show the people what you get. You know, she might like this one today. I can actually see it from the side. <gasps> Look, turtle. It's another one of these. Look, honey. Look. You see that? It's another one of those. Look, look, look. Look, honey. Turtle. Turtle. <laughs> okay, we'll take it out of the box. How about there? Look. Look, turtle. Look. Um. <laughs> look, we got two of them now. Look, green and red. <gasps> look, turtle. <laughs> you make me laugh. But when nobody's watching, guess what you do? You play with the toys. You can see some of the balls are actually out of the bin because she was playing with them. What's that? Are you just tired? Is it too early in the morning? Here. Green and red. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, I had a strange feeling that would work. I don't know where it went. Here, here's a green one. Alright, good. You proved that you know how to play. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> it was funny. Just watch. Look, look at this face. Look at this face. She loves when I do this. Ah, love. <laughs> All right, Turtle. You haven't been. Maybe she's getting older, too, honestly. She's like, I don't want to play with this crap. Here, one more. I found it on the floor. All right, there you go. A little action. That was the green one. That was the same one we got already, but you definitely can have it. Okay, now you're good. Now, see, you're entertaining the people. That's your job. Make that YouTube money. <laughs> By the way, making YouTube money is not easy if you've never tried it. We've been on the air. Well, we've been on the air. We've been on YouTube for 10 years now. Between our Table for Two show and these lovely Advent videos we're trying to do. And my knee replacement journey. And all those videos that we have posted, folks. And we don't have a lot of viewers. We understand that. We have about 1,800 subscribed we're definitely nobody famous, but we've literally made $300. <laughs> I am not kidding you. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just letting you know, it's not easy to make money on YouTube. You have to have that million, you know, following to get the mansion in the hills, you know? <laughs> when, you have, when you're just doing it for fun, which is what we do. I thought we have some real jobs. We don't make the big bucks on the YouTube, but we do like to do it. All right, guys, see you later. All right, day 22 of Jane's calendars. And uh, let's see what we get today. I haven't been able to try some of the items lately because I haven't felt so good the last couple of days, but that's okay. I will definitely get to them. And um, report back on my Instagram page, if anybody cares, at Jane Elizabeth Speaks. Thank you for those who have followed me. I appreciate that very much. Um... Okay, 22 is now up here, so it must be down here. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a big 22. We'll say this Bloomingdale's calendar is one of the prettiest ones we have. Just with the gold and the black. Very fancy. I have to do my nails today. <laughs> Getting cut. Messed up looking. That looks like a sample. 
two samples of some perfume. Um, let's see. Pen Halligan's Constantinople perfume and natural spray Barcelona. Very pretty. Um, just looking really quick to see if it's any specific fragrance I might like. I'd definitely give it a try. And, and then, oh, it's same company. Yeah, same company. Penhaligans. I've never heard of this. Has anybody else heard of this company before? The coveted Duchess Rose. Hmm. A little story in there. Um, I love the smell of rose. I don't like roses, believe it or not. That's going to sound funny. When Phil gets me flowers, um, he knows I don't like, I just don't like the way roses look. They smell fine. Um, but, you know, it's just not my favorite flower. But I do like the smell of one, so. Yes, I have a Band-Aid on my finger, too. Uh, <laughs> having, having a good month this month. Um, I'm definitely going to try both of these. Not right now, though. It's a little early. Um, but after I take my shower, I will try one of those and let you guys know what it's like. I'm just wondering if it's a men's cologne or not. But, you know, I think in this day and age, you can't tell anymore. They don't say men's cologne or ladies' cologne. But I'm thinking because they gave us two of them, maybe one is. But this time I won't spray it on myself and find out. <laughs> the other day the one that broke if you all remember that um that one definitely smelled very musky which is not my thing so i will spray the other one in the air this time and see if i like it um infant yay infant my favorite calendar this year uh 22 22 22 okay let's see Yesterday's color was cool. It had like gold flecks in it, but you definitely couldn't see it that well. But um, it was still feeling really pretty cool. Let's see. This looks like a red. It is called tinsel, which probably means more glitter. Yep, with the glitter in there. Shake it up, get the glitter going. I'll say it's going to be like a red and, and silvery type color. Oh, look how pretty that is. So we'll swatch that later. Let's see what we think. And, the, and the, in case you didn't care, in case, in case you, I'm tired today, can you tell? In case you care, um, what I'm swatching them on is plotter paper. I don't know if you're familiar with the, the plotter company. Um, and then it has a little ring binder I could put them all in when I'm done. So I want to look back at my swatches and see what color I want to use or if I like the color. I want to see what it looks like before I put it in the pen. Um, that's what's kind of nice about doing swatches so you can kind of see what they are. All right, kids. Let's see. 22. Here it is. Body shot. How funny. 19 is sitting out here. I know we opened it, but I just couldn't remember what made it. It's so big. Um, 22. Oh wow, my hand is messed up. I feel like I'm beat up. <laughs> I just scrape myself. And maybe some hand cream would come in handy. Just <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I think I'm not buying the Body Shop calendar next year. What is with the pink grapefruit? I guess it's very, I guess it's popular, right? Because why would there be so much damn pink grapefruit in my calendar? We had soap. We had body wash. We now have this. <sighs> I just can't, I'll give Phil this one for sure. Because it is dry out right now, so he might need to put some hand cream on. But then I don't know if I want to be near him. The pink grapefruit, it's not, I just don't like it. I know you guys are sick of hearing it. I'm sick of saying it, honestly, but I just hate pink grapefruit. Or hate grapefruit, period. Not just pink. All right. The body shop calendar this year is not, well, some of it's good, but it's too much damn grapefruit. All right, guys. Last but not least, we have our Ulta calendar. And this one, like I said, isn't pretty good. 
52. And this one doesn't have 25, I don't think. Mm -mm. This one just has 24, so this one will be done in a couple of days. Okie dokie. What did we get? We can't read it, it's too bright. It's called Exuviance Overnight Transformation Complex for sensitive or dry skin. Revitalize your skin while you sleep. So it's basically face cream, right? Got a lot of face cream this year. As you know, every year I keep track of everything I receive on a daily basis. And I do a little roundup at the end of the advent just to tell you how many of each thing I got and uh, just give you an idea of what was achieved this year. All right, guys, I have a long day ahead of me. I have a doctor's appointment at 9 o'clock this morning, and then hopefully we can enjoy the rest of our day. Uh, Phil took some time off today, too, so hopefully we can try to have some fun. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'm kind of glad there's only a couple more days of wine left because <laughs> yeah. I've been so disappointed. Yesterday, yesterday's got a little better. Yeah, there's 22 here. And I think this one only has 24 yet. This one doesn't even have 25, so that's good. <laughs> Is it terrible? I don't want more. I'm just trying to be silly, but I'm trying to find 23, and I don't see 23 at all for tomorrow. No, that's way in the other corner. Okay. Just curious. All right, guys. Well, if anything, it looks like a red. Ooh. El Bombero. Catanina from Espana, and it is a red, so I just got a red bottle. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. You think this one will be good? I don't know. I'm not going to place any bets. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I can guarantee the Fanny yeah. Mae Chuck is okay. <laughs> hey, they're, they're proud of making this, though. Okay. According to the bottle, it takes a certain set of skills to make garnacha on the hillsides of Carignana. So it's gotta be good, right? They take a lot of pride in it. Come on. Do you know Fannie Mae chocolate will be good? <laughs> Except that- it, It's consistent. I will say though, next year, no Fannie Mae chocolate. I just feel like there's been too much chocolate. I don't want that much chocolate. Glug, 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 what the heck are you doing? I'm trying to give it a tall- Don't forget to give me some. <laughs> tall aerated pour. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. It's purple. I will say, I like the color because everybody here knows I love purple. If you don't know that by now, I'm surprised. It is, even the bubbles are purple, right? Yes. See, I got a little air in there. It's good. All right, let's know. Okay. It smells okay. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm scared that it's gonna disappoint me. <laughs> like that one French one that turned sideways this on us. This smells good. It does. Maybe it's that special skill. Mm-hmm. Now, I haven't had anything to eat or drink for a little while, so it's hitting me a little sharp. Piece of chocolate? But yesterday <laughs> started out sharp, and then it got, it, it, it smoothed out, so. Well, I just ate, what did I eat? <laughs> oh, no, we had, we had, no, we didn't eat anything yet. Yeah, right. a while ago. It, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. It's, it. It is dry. <laughs> so it sad. has no sweetness to it. I'm so sad. The smell did smell good. You know, it's not bad. It's dry, though. It's very dry. It's a very dry wine. If you like dry red, <laughs> this might be... But it's such a pretty color. Purple. <laughs> I'm hoping it's good because of the color. Hi, I, Miss. I, I think it would like... Look, it's Miss. It's Miss. I, I think this would like pair with a prime rib or something like that. Miss is trying to talk. I, she's always trying to talk. Miss, what are you saying? Oh, my oh yeah? <laughs> what? Okay. This is our vocal cat. Yeah, you just tap her and she... Miss, miss. Tap. Meow. Tap. <laughs> Meow. I don't know where the chirp went. She, she, she went to sleep or something. She wanted no part of this. Mm -mm. Neither do I. You can have a tap her. Sure, thank you. Okay, guys. Here comes the ornament of the day. Mm -hmm. I forgot what ornament I even videotaped this morning. <laughs> Was it a good one? I don't know. I guess you'll find out. And we will see you.
for day 23 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I know our numbers will go down each day because as it gets closer to Christmas, <laughs> people are so damn busy, they have no time to go watching us. I know, us. the higher the date, the lower the numbers. <laughs> but it is what it is. Hey. You're still having fun. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. And of course, we end the day with some ornaments of the day. I'm showing you quite a lot of ornaments on our tree. We're getting to the end here. So I thought I'd show you a couple, a couple of the sports ones we have. Now we are in Chicago, folks, so don't get angry. <laughs> but we have our bears ornaments. And we have Mr. Peyton here. No longer on the bears, of course, but was a very good player. And then those don't do much, but look cute. And then down here, again, I'm actually also a Yankees fan, but I don't have any Yankee stuff. My husband has the Cubbies ornament. It actually does, if you press it. Who knows if we'll get monetized, demonetized for that, so I'm going to walk away a little bit. <laughs> so we have a couple of sports things on our tree, not that many, but just a couple.